Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program. Sorry for the nasally sounds, but I seem to have found myself rather sick. It's not the cove, but it's definitely something that is kicking my ass. So, <coughs> today we will be flying a very large interplanetary SSTO. Inside the cargo bay is a base that we will be putting onto the planet Duna, unfolding it and putting it together. I made a stream about this if you're interested, but I figure for those who can't watch, you know, two hours worth of video i would make a simple 10 10 minute one or something okay let's go now because of the fact that we have what one two three four uh, eight eight six, 16 rapiers and only three shock air cone intakes we have to start off at half power till we get some movement going once we start getting a little speed then we can go to full power in three two one what Okay, one third power. About 25 meters per second. Let's go full power. Full power.
Well, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. This has been a Kerbal Space Program video, SSTO to Duna, dropping off a kind of fuel outpost, which would refuel the craft so that it could return safely back to Kerbin. Unfortunately, I did not have the time to finish that, but I figured you guys could pretty much do the math in your head that it's easy enough to get back to Kerbin in this thing. Although it would not have a passenger, it would be automated, only because of the fact that, well, it does have a decoupla or decoupla in it, Oh my gosh, I can't think. I hate putting a Kerbal into a little tiny seat for like five years, you know what I mean? Or a year, however long it takes. I kind of like a little bit of realism. So the way I like to think about it is that the three Kerbals were eating and living and sleeping inside the base while it was folded up inside the cargo hold. Also, if you're seeing that blue circle in the middle of the nose of, of the, of the uh, nose cone, shock air intake, that is a bug from the restock mod. It's a real pain in the ass and I don't know if they'll ever fix it. But anyway. Typically a mission like this you'd want another one of these planes coming behind it so that when that one takes off There's another one right behind it with supplies, but I digress I just want all of you to know that I, I appreciate every single one of you Thank you so much for being here if you really liked what you saw Please hit that like button and if you really 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 liked what you saw consider subscribing I upload videos on a consist consistent basis. I also have a uh, Membership if you want to join you get cool little emojis and stuff and badges and whatnot pretty neat check it out if you're interested. But anyway, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much again. Love you all. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.